A new name that we have not talked about that has been in the transfer portal is Kevin Patton Jr. This kid, uh, I, I am familiar with him. Sometimes like a name pops up from the West Coast Conference and you're like, who is that? I watched some Kevin Patton Jr. this year and I remember seeing him on my screen like, wait a second, who is that? That's because this is a six foot eight guard who had a pretty good freshman year for San Diego. He started half of their games, played 26 minutes a game, ended up averaging 10 points, four rebounds, two and a half assists, over a steal, over a block per game. Shot 43% from the floor, 34% from three, 72% from the line. Again, true freshman, all freshman team, six foot eight guard that fills it up and does some things defensively. Uh, on paper, this is a very fun prospect. And I wasn't even aware he was in the portal until I saw a tweet pop up on the timeline. Uh, he has one of the biggest lists of schools recruiting him of any player I've seen in the portal this entire offseason. This is per Tipton edits, per Joe Tipton. The schools that Kevin Patton Jr. has heard from since entering the portal. Duke, Virginia, Florida State, Cal, Stanford, Boston College, Mississippi State, Vanderbilt, Arkansas, Oklahoma State, UCF, BYU, Texas Tech, TCU, Arizona State, West Virginia, San Diego State, Seton Hall, Creighton, Colorado State, San Diego State, Fresno State, Washington, Ohio State, Illinois, USC, and Santa Barbara. I think I just named 25 schools. I'm going to pick the ones out of that that I'm most interested in. How about Duke, Arkansas, Creighton, Ohio State, and Illinois? Those are some schools that matter to me. If Patton Jr. suddenly ended up ended up on those schools, what would happen? Uh, what do you make of Kevin Patton Jr.? Uh, for starters, when you, you when you don't really watch, and I'll say uh, I'll out myself here, I wasn't really tapping into that much San Diego basketball this season. Hand up, that's on me. Uh, but when you start diving into this dude's film, like the you just watch it and you don't look at the numbers you're like this dude looks like a hooper like he has the size he's got the handle he can shoot it a little bit like I, I i can see why a lot of teams would be in on getting this guy especially because like you get three years of him possibly too like who knows i definitely think a team a high level team sees him and they could see like kevin Patton jr could be an nba player one day because he has the size I think the skills are there. I, obviously, he can get better than he refining. He's not a finished product. But I could see uh, immediately after watching, you know, his initial highlights, his initial film, you're, you, I could see why the, where the intrigue comes from because I, I think that this – I think this kid can go straight up. Like, uh, if I'm a school like Illinois who loves wing scores, Kevin Patton Jr. would fit that mold for me. Uh, if I'm an Arkansas team, I think that him having a bigger state plan, I, I can see him playing there as well. It makes sense to me why those high level schools are on there, in my opinion. Like, I see why they would want him. Do you think all 25 of the schools named are actually recruiting Kevin Patton Jr.? No, that's a do you, lot. Do you think he at least got a phone call from all of them? Yes, okay. yes. So my, my interpretation would be like some of these schools maybe called him earlier before landing their targets, like Ohio State. Got Michi Johnson. I don't really know why they want Kevin Patton Jr. They also got uh, – who was the other guard they got? The – Micah Parrish. Yeah. Like, why Why do you have Michi and Micah Parrish and you're after Kevin Patton Jr.? Uh, Creighton got Pop Isaacs. You still want Kevin Patton Jr.? Okay. Arkansas is about to get uh, DJ Wagner after it, Boogie Flan and John L. You want Kevin Patton Jr.? Sure. Duke just landed Sion James. I don't think they want Kevin Patton Jr., Illinois is striking out on everybody. They might want him still here pretty, pretty loudly. I don't know. I, mean, I, I think Creighton would too. I think, you, I you think, think Creighton play, would. I, I, I think that you play Kevin Patton Jr. at the three and you play him next to Ashworth Isaacs. Interesting. You, you, you take the Shireman role. Interesting. Okay, so what's the best fit for Patton? What should he be looking to do? If I'm Patton, I have a hard time not seeing what Terrence Shannon Jr. and Damas did. Be like, wow, Illinois might be a good spot for me. And I don't say that just as like, you know, obviously we know what's said about this channel, but like you look at fit and what those wings did in that offense, I think Kevin Patton could thrive in that in that offense. I also think he'd be great at Creighton as well. Um and I think both those spots will provide minutes and opportunity for him and two like really good offenses. Yeah. Okay. I like both fits. 
I do. Um, this feels like one he's going to go to some random other school, though. I, I don't. I mean, there's 25 schools on his list. I'm not even going to pick one out of that. But yeah, uh, I mean, if, Calif- California kids. So, like, I mean, I you you know, I don't know if you want to throw USC or UCLA out there, but I don't even know if they got scholarship spots left. If you are Illinois and you just offered Igor Demon 1.5 million dollars, and Igor Demon is about to go elsewhere, let's just say hypothetically, none of these are real. None of these are real. What would you offer Kevin Patton Jr.? It's not my money, right? No, nope, not your money. I don't I don't care. Get him. The highest number? Yeah, get him. Get whatever number it takes. But are you 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 want Kevin Patton Jr. over like prioritizing like a Jameer Watkins? Because you that's uh, kind of the game you're playing. Not, not Jameer Wat uh, Jameer Watkins would be first for me. So where's Pat and Jr.? Like, doesn't Illinois probably still have like six or seven targets they like more than Kevin? That, Pat uh, yeah, but the thing is, like, which are, are are if they're? I would assume that all those are realistic, though. Like, I think Kevin Pat and Jr. might be the most realistic they can get them target. Do you want Mongolian Mike or Kevin Pat and Jr.? Kevin, I won't, I I'd want another player off San Diego than Mongolian Mike. Is there a world here where their lineup ends up being Ty Rogers? Kylan Boswell, Kevin Patton Jr., Mongolian Mike, and like Merez, and it's just a oh, bunch of switchable six oh. eight dudes. Um, Riches will start, right? I don't know. It's a lot um, of switchable six eight. Sorry. Dudes. Sorry. Yeah, how dare you? Uh, okay, all right. I I think Dorian Jones ends up like somewhere extremely random. I don't know. I I don't. I think Illinois no, is probably like keeping on, Kevin here. Kevin Patton Kevin Patton Jr. Not Dorian. Oh, Jones. I'm sorry. Yeah, I, Jesus. I'm look. I looked at my Greg, if he, if he chooses Michigan, he'll choose Michigan. All right, move on from Dorian. We're talking about Kevin Patton Jr. Now we did 19 videos this morning. I'm just <laughs> looking at different <laughs> names. Yes, Kevin. Kevin's gonna go somewhere random. That's my read here, and I think Illinois might be rightfully so keeping him like on the back burner. Um. But there's there's probably schools that are prioritizing him a lot more than Illinois right now. That's my read, and that's okay. Uh, can I? I gotta get this out before the video ends. What? There's a world where I would have rather had Kevin Patton Jr. than Frankie Pippen. Yeah, I agree. Okay, I don't think that's crazy at all. It's not. I mean, you get three more years of a six foot eight guard that does a yeah. lot. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, I forgot it's three years. Three years is massive. Thanks for watching the Sleepers channel, which is brought to you by My Bookie. Cart, could you please tell the listeners about My Bookie? If you need the best sports book, the official sports book of Sleepers Media, My Bookie, it is the only place where they give you the opportunity to play your way and get paid easily. They have absolutely everything you need. Anything that you need betting wise, My Bookie is equipped with it. And right now, we have a first deposit bonus of up to $1,000 by using promo code Sleepers. That's promo code Sleepers over at My Bookie. A instant deposit bonus up to a thousand dollars. Greg, that means you put a thousand in there, you get a thousand free dollars to bet. I don't know if there's a better deal than that out there. So head over to my bookie right now. It's the official sports book. We use my bookie on a daily basis, trust me, and it is working out perfectly for us. So go ahead and get with the wave. Head over to my bookie, the official sports book of Sleepers Media. Yeah, I love bonus dollars. That's what I love. And my bookie has a great offer for you right now. Go take advantage. Link in the description of this video. Thank you for watching.